legend tells of the mysterious planet Nexus, once inhabited by the hyper-advanced Elden, who disappeared from the galaxy long ago. Where is this lost world? What mysteries and wonders would be found there? And does it conceal ancient technologies and forbidden magic of awesome, unimaginable power? Guess what? You're gonna find out, Cupcake. Wildstar, adventure is about to get an ass kicking. Hi guys, it's Chuckies here, and today I'll be showing you what your character general stats are and some basic pruning skills. To start, these are all the different items that you can have on your character. All the things on the left side are what you can see on your character in the game. However, the right side are just items and stuff that lets you get stats. Except for the costumes, they just make it look really cool. Now these things I'm pointing at are your armor, support power, assault power, max shield, and max health. These are the major stats on your character. Assault power being for DPS, and support power being for tanks and healers. Now these stats on the right side are what are your individual stats for each character. So this one's your brutality, one below that's finesse, one below moxie, tech, and sight and grit. Now these things I'm pointing at though are called milestones. As you get more and more of a certain particular stat, they give you little bonuses for just having it. Now these things have a cap on when they stop giving you milestone bonuses, but they still give you what the stat basically will give you. Me being a spell slinger, finesse gives me assault power, even though it's capped, I still get assault power for it. But I don't get any more free bonuses. As far as what these stats give you, depending on what class you are, changed. Like if I was an Esper, Moxie would give me a soul power. Anyways, moving on. So these are your secondary stats. These are for like your crit hit, crit chance, uh, strike through, PvP power, PvP defense, all those little other stats for like min and max. Thing. Now let's move on to rune sets. So each piece of gear has a rune slot. And if a rune is a part of a rune set, this is where you go to see how many of that rune set you have is active. So I'm showing you everything that's in your inventory and on your character. Alright guys, and also, speaking of runes, let's go ahead and get into some rune crafting. So, uh, if you click on the little bottom left thing on your screen, and you scroll all the way down, you'll see a thing called rune crafting. A little pin there, if you click on it, it'll uh, pin it to the bottom left hand of your screen, so you don't have to do that anymore. You click on it, this screen will pop up. Now those are all your different pieces of gear with all the different runes. Uh, this is all the different classification for your runes. I'll get in that in a second. Now the very bottom left hand little red signal there you see, it says, oh, you need a rune crafting station. So let's go find one. Um, in Ilium, unfortunately it's pretty far away from the auction house. Um, I'm not really sure where the one stayed at. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna head over there. So we're here. So that is a room crafting station in the game. There. Yeah, that, that. Okay. Alright, cool. Alright, so this is the window. Um, that's the one with all your different kind of types of runes, all that good stuff. Um, so, runes are essentially what you want to do for min and max. Um, if you don't have runes, you're going to get crushed in the face, so yeah. So these are the different styles of runes and types and classifications. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, as you can see, there's a plethora of them. Numerous types. Um, also, you also need to understand that each of the runes have their own type of thing, like assault power, crit, moxie, finesse, yada yada yada. And what may be available on one room set, uh, room type, you know, is not going to be available on another. For example, Fusion doesn't have any kind of general room sets, it just doesn't have any at all. And you see, see, look, no, no, no. Um, whereas all the other ones have at least some. So, your, what runes are in your gear is really relevant. So yeah, so now uh, let's take a look at what all the different rooms look like. So, uh, let's see here, this one is air. These are the, that's the picture you look at, that's what it looks like. Uh, next one is going to be earth. This is this little stone thingy. Get it, Ah, ah, you get it. Alright. And the next one is fire. That actually kind of makes sense, it's a little flame. A little red thingy there. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, yeah, so pretty. Alright, next. Uh, next one is fusion. This is a. Uh, ooh, they're all so pretty. Elements. Oh, God, they're so expensive. Alright, um, then the next one, we got the life. Yeah, it's life. Okay, life. Green is life. And 
the Man of Logic, which most people hate this room set due to the fact that only really tanks and stuff enjoy it. So, damn you, Logic. And last but not least, we have Wata Agua. These are your nice water rooms and stuff. So, those are what they look like. Uh, to let you know which one goes which, and there's where you put them at. So once you're at the little uh, runecrafting station, um, not right now, but anyways, um, these are what you need the slots for. Now, each piece of rune, uh, each rune slot, see if you want to replace it, it costs money to, to change it. However, at the same time, when you first get a piece of gear, only one or two are free to put on, um, and you have to buy the slots and unlock them as, as you go. Also, keep in mind that if you want to exchange it or replace the, like, re-roll the room, you can only do it one time and you have to have these little thingies. Now, um, you said you only get to do it once and these things aren't cheap, so make sure it's a room that you really hate. <coughs> Logic. Now, so, uh, I'm saying that way too many times. <laughs> Anywho, so, um, let's get a little more detailed about our rooms. So, there's an add-on called Rune Master. As you see around here, click in, scroll down, and Room Master, not there, it's right, cool. So you click it, thumbs up. Uh, this thing is a lifesaver. If you want a min and max, this is what you really, really need, honestly. Like, I, even if you're uh, not a big runner or stuff like that, I still highly recommend it. It makes life so much easier. As you see, it displays all the gear that I have currently equipped. Um, it has all the rune slots for it. Um, if you change the runes in and out, it's a quick little refresh thing, so it updates. But, uh, you know who. So, so, you have all the rune sets. In the very far right side, you have the other for all the non rune sets things. Anyways, um, so these are all the steps that you can uh, view. If you left-click left -click it, it shows a square with uh, all the rune slots that could possibly have that. So like Assault Power, for example, those are all, you know, they all have squares for it, so all those have Assault Power. Now everything else, there's no rune uh, spot that you can put there for uh, Assault Power. Now this is an Omni um, thing, it's the one you can put any kind of rune into. So if you click the little circles, this window pops up with all the available rooms to put into it. Um, as you see, it says Omni, so those are all the different rooms I could possibly put into that one specific rune set. Now, moving on, we do, see here, come on, come on, you can do it, please, yeah, okay, alright, yeah, yeah. alright. Anyways, as you see, um, there's plenty of different things you can do with it, it's really neat. Um, that shows you different stats you have over there. Uh, the different room sets you have, the number on the top are what your current rooms are put in your gear, and the bottom ones are what your next thing is going to do. Uh, by the way, if you make it, once you left click it and apply a rune, you have to right click it to uh, take it away. It's big, big help, real helpful. Real help. So, and you see if you right click and left click on the bottom right thing over there, you can adjust what your actual, uh, what stats you want to see, so you're not going to clear with a bunch of crap you don't really care about. Um, also, it's a really neat thing is that depending on your class and what you're trying to do, you can actually change it between tank and healer and all that and that's whole set specs. So <clears throat> you can like if you're like for example, I'm in all assault gear, so of course it'll be in all DPS. But if I was in support, I would click the support tab and it just kinda gives you a better idea of the stuff that you need. Um, yeah, so it's pretty I mean it's it's pretty simple to use, just hang of it. Um my suggestion is, uh, honestly, when you're first starting out getting gear, just go with basic rooms. Don't worry about room sets just yet. Um, I'll explain in a different video about how more detailed and advanced things go. Um, <clears throat> but for right now, just get them basically ruined. Um, I would try to do with the, whatever your main stat is, stat is and assault power. Once you max out on your, um, uh, your, your max stat, I would definitely choose to go with Assault Power over that main stat, just because it's going to give you more Assault Power overall. Um, now if you're in PvP, I would hit, you want to hit 100% PvP power, and then you just dump the rest of it into Assault Power. Don't worry about, don't worry about anything in PvP power above 100%, it comes up to like 3600 rating or something like that, PvP power rating, something, something like that. So, yeah, alright guys, well, that's, that's all there is to it. Also, there's plenty of other little key things on the thing that I haven't really done, but, yeah. Oh! One last thing, almost forgot. Oh, man, that's the really, really nice part about this. If you uh, click the crafting rooms in the top right, um, it'll display a little, little uh, new, nice, unique tab. So, everything you've already selected uh, for your new build, 
um, will show up here. And uh, it will tell you all the runes that you need, and it will tell you all the, the stuff you need to craft them uh, that you that you don't already have. Also, it will tell you on the far right side of it uh, how many of that particular rune you have. So, as you can see here, I mean, it's not the best example in the world, I apologize. Um, as you can see here, though, it does display it. And on top of that, if you're long as you have the room crafting station opened, you can click craft all and it'll craft all of them. And as long as you have enough money as well, um, you can actually click the, the rune all and it will do everything for you. Just, I would double check and make sure you go through the rooms and make sure there's no uh, copying and double of them. Because you can only have one fire weapon specialist rune of assault power, just as an example. You can't have any duplicates of the same exact rune in one piece of gear. Um, so it makes kind of like, that's why this whole um, add-on is actually extremely useful is because you don't have to actually spend all the money to actually re-ruin this crap and see what it actually does. This does it for you. That's all I got for you today, you guys. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me keep making videos. Also, if you subscribe, you'll be able to check out future videos and see what's coming up next. Alright guys, if you have any su uh, suggestions for future videos, please drop them down in the comment box below. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time.